if you come on this journey, uh, the God by Spiritual Pilgrimage, your name will be on the register. Uh, the register. We, we present that to the Ministry of Interior that's responsible for dual citizenship, and then it'll be pending. Um, of course, we made some amendments to an executive order going with, um, as I think you see it there, um, the right of abode, uh, which is in the Constitution, so there's going to be you know, we get access to land if you want to start businesses, we, you know, get to travel around and stuff. So you get a lot of different things that citizenship normally gives you, but like there's certain things like voting, and we fought on that, you know, but voting is something that they feel you should be in the country in order to know, you know, who you want to vote for and stuff. So lastly, I just want to show um, the God Box tours. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a tour agency that um, dealt specifically with religious and spiritual groups uh, because a lot of these tour agencies, again, are just coming in and showing different tours, but they're not really understanding that this is a spiritual journey for a lot of people. You know, that they're not just paying thousands of dollars to come and see art, you know, culture. They want to get that experience. So, you know, we formed a Pan-African Interfaith uh, that, and we work with the tour groups. And if you just go to the Yogi Chum packages, we have it there. I'm just bringing this up because I want uh, people to be familiar with what we're doing um, on this. So you have the tour packages here. Um, again, there are a lot of different tour, agent, tour groups with crazy numbers and not offering any kind of substance whatsoever. To, to the tour. Um, with us, we really are well, from Ghana, so you know we had a lot of connections to be able to provide. I know it's hard times for people right now, but to be able to provide a you know a reasonable um, ticket pricing, a, a tour package that will um, give you the substance that you want. Not only visas, dual citizenship, have access to land, business, um, and then also meet with um, other Hebrew groups. Uh, in, the, uh, in the country uh, and dine with them. Um, of course, this is an interfaith tour, so there will be other religious groups that will come with us. Most of the religious groups understand the 400 years and they want to come and show support. Um, and, you know, because they believe it's all, you know, all part of the Abrahamic tradition, so you have the Christians and the Muslims as well that are coming in. Um, so if you go on, on the godboxtours.com, uh, Website, you see the brochures there. Again, this is a spiritual journey, um, and we're trying to do. There's a you know payments. There's a payment plan. You go through the whole thing. You see, um, if you want a book. I started, so you can, you, know, you can start um, booking and stuff. You see what we're offering. Um, you know, hotel accommodations, you know, everything's up there. Um, then we have the payment plans, and, you know, and you can just do everything online. So you can pay whatever you want. And we have, since you're dealing with uh, me and a, a couple of other people, if you have any special requests in, in the Hebrew community, it's very important because, you know, y'all got to spearhead this thing. Um, I, you know, this 400 years, I've been in a lot of conversations. It's actually because there's so many um, different initiatives. Um, the, the spirit of the 400, what 400 years is all about is getting lost in the conversation. It's all about politics and economics and all this stuff. And we're forgetting, again, the, the real spiritual possibilities in making this trip. Um, and so, you know, it's up to us here to really focus in and know what the 400 years is about. And again, like Sister Only Love said, what our expectations are, I will say that, is what's going to manifest. You know, so whatever mindset we're bringing in, there's been a lot of fear mongering and all these things. I know we've gone through, you know, we've gone through a lot through our history. So we are suspect, as we should be, with um, a lot of these things. But, you know, this is a time where, you know, we're going to have to use some faith. You know, and really take a leap of faith and, and see whether we can make this journey together. I think it's going to be an amazing journey. I think it's going to be really, um, especially with the opportunity that we have, what we're asking um, some of the religious groups to do, and we want uh, the Hebrew community to spearhead this, is we're going to have all, um, well, not all, but probably representatives, 
of, of leaderships in West Africa, especially uh, Ghana, Ghana's president. We're going to have queen mothers and chiefs um, from different parts of West Africa and in Ghana, um, different faith leaders all um, come around. We're going to have a reconciliation ceremony. It's going to be big. It's really um, you know, a time where I think we can really, you know, the Hebrew community can come together, put some sort of response. I know I gave an apology on my own the last time I had this platform. I know it's not sufficient. You know, we want to see people on, you know, on a whole nother level um, speak. And this is going to be a time where we can be honest with ourselves and enter into each other's experiences because that's something that we haven't seen happen yet, unfortunately. So this is a, it's going to be a good time for it. And, um, and again, I mean, I'll leave you with, you know, we just gotta stay focused on what the 400 years is about because what I, again, this, the, the whole point is getting lost as time goes on. And we have a responsibility to keep the focus on what 400 years, every time we have a 400 year mark, the scripture has shown that there's some sort of, God begins to act, you know? So let's see what the Most High is gonna do in this time. Thank you so much.